Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my fall candle collection. I do have a couple of Halloween candles in here too, but I have them all laid out on the bed behind me. So let's go ahead and go through them. Here is my candle collection for fall. I have 13 candles exactly, and we're gonna go through them one by one. I'll just start off with my only Homeworks candle that I have left for fall, and this is Hot Cider Donut. This is one of my absolute favorites. As you can tell, I'm almost finished with it. I have this one left over from last year, but I've used it multiple years. The notes are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean, and spiced cider. If you ever find this one at like Home Goods or something for, I think they're like $17 at Home Goods, definitely pick it up. It's so yummy. It is just like the perfect cinnamon sugar donut mixed with that apple, and it feels so fall like. I definitely always burn this one while I'm watching Halloween movies every year. Next, we have Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. This one is in a fall packaging, but of course, you could definitely use this one year round. I just really like this beautiful, like shimmery packaging and the leaves on it. The notes on this are ground cinnamon, sugar crystals, and vanilla bean. I really like this one for like an intro to fall. It's great as like a morning scent. It's just a very nice, simple scent. Also really good if you don't like overwhelming like pumpkin and stuff. This one is a good, simple cinnamon scent that would be really good for you as well. And it's not crazy strong. These two are my most recent candle buys from the little like vault collection that came out last month so first we have pumpkin nut butter which it said this is a new candle this one definitely is different from pumpkin peanut brittle they are not the same um, this one is really just a pumpkin scent so the notes on here are pumpkin spice creamy nut butter and a sprinkle of cinnamon this one is a super strong super generic kind of pumpkin scent I was not expecting it to be as pumpkin-y as it was. I was really expecting to get some sort of like peanut or almond or something in here, but it really is just a pumpkin spice scent. So if you are looking for a basic pumpkin, this is definitely the one for you, but I think this was a limited edition one, so I don't think they even sell it anymore, but you might be able to find this line at SAS. And then we have Pumpkin Donut Shop, which came out from the vault. I remember this one came out, I think for the first time in like 2018 or 2019, when I had first started getting into Bath and Body Works candles. And I loved this one so much that I bought it on Mercari whenever they didn't bring it back out. So the notes on this are glazed donuts, warm pumpkin spices, and sprinkled with powdered sugar. This one really is a basic powdered sugar donut scent. It smells just like those like gas station donuts that you would get, but it is such a really good morning scent. I would definitely have this one while I'm drinking like a cup of coffee. I'd have this one burning or even like burn it with a coffee scent. I feel like that'd be so good. And this one I think is good for year round, not necessarily a fall scent specifically, but really, really good. And this one is much more powdered sugar than hot cider donut. This is much more like the picture looks like cinnamon sugar, whereas this one is much more just like a plain donut with the powdered sugar around it. And then I lined up all of my apple scents right here. These are ones that I really like to use either in September or in November, actually. So these two right here are my like staple Thanksgiving scents. So first we have Harvest Gathering. I really love this beautiful packaging with the leaves. And this one came out, I believe, last year, 2023, near the end of the fall time. So like the end of October slash early November. This is fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. This one to me smells just like Thanksgiving. It's super clovey. It's very spicy, super apple-y. It just smells really, really nice and cozy. And I really love this one for if it is cold outside too. And then we have White Pumpkin, which this packaging is also just so beautiful with the golden pumpkins on here. I cannot get over that. And this one I actually found at my nearest outlet because it is in like a international packaging since there is multiple different languages on here. But the notes are ginger white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and warm blended spices. So this one is another super spicy scent. This one kind of smells like a craft store around fall. It's just like super spicy, not really anything like super sweet. It's just like a spice scent. So I really love this one for Thanksgiving. And then apple crisp I picked up this year. This is a new scent that came out this year. The notes are caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. This one definitely reminds me of apple pie. It's not the same, but it definitely reminds me of apple pie 
it's a little bit more oatmeal-y than that one, but it is very yummy, very spicy, and very strong apple. So I've been really enjoying this one kind of in the living room at nighttime. It is such a good scent. And I would say that this one is a pretty strong thrower. I would say all of these three apple scents are very strong, like maybe seven or eight out of 10. And then I'm including this one in fall, even though it did come out during this summer's SAS. This is in the Stars and Honeycrisp Apple from the Blends collection. I feel like if you're gonna do an apple scent, it's definitely gonna be a fall scent to me. The notes are Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Golden Honeycrisp, and Apple Blossom. This one to me is super similar to like Champagne Toast, but mixed with apple. It is almost Champagne Apple and Honey, but because it has a lot more in the star notes, it makes it much more body care smelling than gourmand smelling. So it smells really good. I like this one in the bedroom actually. It's a very like sophisticated scent, so I've been loving it. And then I've got Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, which is one that I will always pick up to burn every single fall. This is a staple scent for me and I will get it every single year. I think this is last year's packaging actually from that Paisley collection. The notes are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This one is a powerhouse scent. It is like a nine out of 10 on throw. It will smell your clothes. Your clothes will smell like this. Your entire house will smell like this, no matter how many stories it is, no matter how many square feet it is. Be careful with this one in an apartment because honestly, you'll smell it like down the hallway from the apartment door. So it's super strong, such a good scent. It really is just like maple syrup and waffles. It's so perfect for fall. I love this one. The next one is a repurchase for me from this year. I did also pick this up last year. This is pumpkin cinnamon bun. I believe this year is the third year that it's been out. It is such a good cinnamon bun scent. The notes are warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. This one is also pretty strong. I would say like a six or seven out of 10. The lid from this year is also super cute, a very bakery. But yeah, this one has a little bit of that cream cheese icing note to it, which makes it really unique. And it definitely smells like you're baking cinnamon rolls. So it smells super delicious. I love using this one on weekend mornings. It just feels super relaxing. And this could definitely be a year round scent, but I personally have cinnamon rolls around the holidays. So that for me makes it a fall scent. Next, I have pumpkin peanut brittle. And this one is from 2022. I did pick up about four of these when it came back out in 2022. I think this one also along with Pumpkin Donut Shop, originally they came out together whatever year that was, 2018 or 2019, and then it hadn't come back in a while. So Pumpkin Peanut Brittle is crunchy, caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. I used to love this scent, but I have to say I'm a little sick of it by now. I think I'm just gonna save this candle for next year because I'm not really feeling it, but it really is such a yummy like Ritz cracker with a little slab of peanut butter and a drizzle of honey on top. That is exactly what this smells like. It's sweet, it's buttery, it's a little bit with that like cracker note. It's so yummy, but I'm just not feeling it for this year for whatever reason. I think because it hasn't been, we haven't really gotten a cold snap yet to bring this out, but it is a really good scent and I hope they would bring it back out in the future. And then my only two Halloween scents, to be honest, I don't really buy the Halloween candles specifically because I usually pick up some sort of like pumpkin-y or apple-y scent that I'll just use in place of Halloween candles. I'm not really the biggest fan of like Vampire Blood, Ghoul Friend, and all that. I feel like they're not super fall-ish to me. I would really prefer like a simple pumpkin scent for my Halloween scent. But I do have this one from Goose Creek from a few years ago. This is Hocus Pocus 2 Halloween Night. They came out with a Hocus Pocus collection whenever Hocus Pocus 2 was coming out. And I remember that this was a candy corn scent. So it was marshmallows, caramel, and I think whipped cream. So it's a very simple, soft scent. It doesn't have the notes on the bottom here, but it is just a simple marshmallow scent. I'm just not the biggest fan of Goose Creek scents, to be honest with you. I find that they smell kind of cheap. Some of them do. I mean, I've had some good ones, but I haven't purchased from Goose Creek in a few years. This was probably my last purchase from them. But yeah, it's just a simple marshmallow caramel scent. And then my last Halloween candle is Wicked Vanilla Woods from this year. The notes on this one are magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. This one is a very aromatic, fresh scent. It's definitely masculine or unisex. This 
lid that came out with this line is so pretty. I'm not quite sure why they made this one a blue candle. I think they could have just made it white and it would have been just as beautiful, but I really like the diamond little sparkles on this packaging. I think it's super cute. And as you can see, I have not burned it yet. I did put this in my project wax though to try and start using for the month of October, but it is a nice like fresh scent with the amber and spicy with the pepper and the vanilla is really just kind of the base that brings it all together so i think this is going to be a really great like bath time scent or nighttime scent to burn during the fall and that's it for my 13 fall candles so that is it for my fall candle collection i hope you guys enjoyed i know i really haven't done a ton of fall candle hauls this year i think i did like one or two sporadically but I mean, I had a lot of fall candles left over from last year and I probably will still have some left over from this year, but I plan on getting through a lot of those in the next couple of months, hopefully, before I start burning my winter candles. But last year I did really good on winter and I think I only have like three left over. So I will probably be purchasing a lot of holiday candles when those start coming out and we have good deals on them. So anyways, that is it for my fall candle collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.